Listen, I get it. Now I know a lot of these have been done before, but I feel like the gear and the tools that I'll be going over with you today are items that not only do I use on every single one of my productions, but they might even get you out of a pinch when you're on set. Now in the industry on larger scale productions, we hire guys that are G&E and gaffers, known as your grip and electric and your lighting technicians. A lot of the tools I'll be showing you and gear we'll be going over are things they use on a daily basis. But you might be asking yourself, Jay, I'm a filmmaker, why would I need their gear? Well, I know from personal experience, starting off as a freelance filmmaker, you don't always get the ability to afford having those roles on set and you're gonna most likely be doing the rigging, the lighting, and the troubleshooting yourself when you're on set. So the items I'll be going over with you guys today are in this toolbox, are not only affordable, but they have saved me so many times by having them with me. And a lot of them have multiple uses for them. So let's roll that intro and then I'll show you my top 10 favorite items in this bag. Let's go. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jason Anthony. I'm a commercial DP and cinematographer based in Los Angeles, California. If you're into tips, tricks, reviews, and how to step up your content creation business as a whole, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications bell on so you're alerted every time I drop a new video. All right, so I dropped the toolbox on the ground. I didn't want taking up the whole table. Let's start with item number one. And this is going to be some belt attachments called woolly clips. Now you can DIY these guys yourselves, but there is a local 728 that makes them by the name of Jason Woolley and his Instagram handle is Woolly Clips. Now you can, like I said, make these. I've seen all types of them on set from different grips and gaffs, but for $35, I like the materials. I like the brass and the leather and just how nice it is and functional it is. And let's go over what is on this clip. Now, when you get the clip, there is a roll mechanism where you put your gaff tape in. We use this on set 24 seven. It's something we're always blowing through as one of our expendables that we always have to buy. I have a little Sharpie marker right here. Now that's for like, say a slate that the dry erase on it is just completely shot. We'll just take a white piece of duct tape or electrical tape and then just write the takes and the names on it and everything like there. We have a leather strip that comes with the clip and you can put C47s for those of you who don't know what those are. They're like the wooden um, old school, like laundry clips that you would dry your laundry with, or you could just rock these like mini spring clamps or baby clamps that we call them. And these are just nice to have if I need to say cut a gel and put it on a Fresnel head or hold down some wires or something, the little clamps come in clutch all the time. Lastly, what I have is, I don't know if you could see it. I'm gonna to try to get it in the B-roll, but it is a binder clip arm that has been zip tied to the keychain. And what that allows me to do is take my cheater and my outlet box. Now a cheater is your standard, I mean, you've seen these around the house. It's a two prong outlet adapter to a three prong ground. And there's been times where I've been on sets, I've rented locations that have old school outlets with the two prong and most of my lighting it's coming with your standard three prong for the ground so always have one of these and then also an outlet cube this way i can have multiple things plugged in besides two on your standard outlet and what's holding it onto the keys is that little binder clip you kind of just squeeze it in right there and with the zip tie it won't come off and this is what's around my hip on some of my shoots. Then the other one, I'll go through this real quick. It is just a glove clamp made out of copper. And on set, when you're working with tungsten lighting or HMIs, the lights tend to get really hot. So by having some heat proof gloves and just gloves in general for moving around dirty items and stuff like that, these are made by Setwear. Always have these on me and my small rig multi-tool Got a little key ring right there that it goes on and off. And this way, if I need to adjust my rig, my red or something, I have that set. 
Another thing that I another thing that I like to carry on my belt loop too is just a rocket blower and the microfiber. Another thing that I tend to use more often than not on set are some $5 shears from Target and some bigger spring clamps. These are pretty cheap. You could get them at Home Depot or Harbor Freight even. And uh, there's times where we show up for interview or on set and the window's blowing out, um, tons of light coming in. And instead of throwing up some duvetine, we kind of like that light coming in. And by putting this up, it will diffuse that light. Um, so if that's going to be in your frame, it won't be as distracting. Or if you just want to diffuse that window a little bit, you just take these guys with the grip arm, C-stand, throw it up, clamp it, and now you have that window diffused. So $5 shears, I think these are like $10 each or maybe even cheaper. That'll be coming in clutch, I promise you. All right, so next up, a Cardellini. Matthews also makes their version called a Mathalini. Same thing. What we have right here is a rubberized clamp and you could adjust it all the way down and a baby pin on one end. This is great if you wanna have overhead hair lights or just need to clamp something that a baby pin can mount to, whether it's a grip head or a light. So these come out super clutch. You never know when you need to rig something up and they're easy and non-destructive on your set. Now, as you progress more in your filmmaking career, you're gonna quickly realize that shaping light is everything when you're trying to achieve a cinematic image. Doesn't matter the camera or the lens, if you really know how to light a scene well, you're gonna be su substantially better as a filmmaker than somebody that does not know how to light their scene. Now, one thing we like to use on set is negative fill by using a solid. This right here is just a 24 by 36 or a two by three floppy. And what we do is just stick it on our grip head. And now we could use this guy right here for negative fill. So if you have your key light coming in from the right, what you would wanna do essentially is have this as close out of frame to your subject as possible so that the key side is nicely lit and then you get a nice roll off of shadow to dark on the other side of the face. What this helps does is give more depth to your image and essentially look more contrasty and in my honest opinion, way better than a high key look. Now there's all shapes and sizes of flags and floppies. Some of them you could use for diffusion and there's different strengths and also different types of materials. So if you're not really keen on lighting, I heavily suggest YouTubing some ways on using these types of negative fill solids or just flags and floppies in general. Next up on our list is a quacker clamp. This clamp is just a vice grip with a baby pin welded on for your grip head. And then we have our clamping material right here. It opens up all the way and you just close down on something. This is best used for a beadboard or bounce board when you want to reflect light off of things. A popular lighting technique for interviews or shoots in general is a book light. And that is when you bounce your light off a reflective material like beadboard, bounce board, or anything you could find even at Home Depot. And then you're gonna bounce that light through some sort of diffusion cloth, like a cheesecloth or something, and essentially just have a really nice lighting setup. So this guy right here, we use on set. It's great, you might wanna check it out. All right, so next up are some tennis balls. I have these gray tennis balls right here that come pre-cut. They're really meant for the legs of walkers, but I like to use them for the C-stand legs and even the grip arm. So when we rent out sets, sometimes we get peer spaces and those are people's homes or apartments and we wanna make sure that we're not doing any damage to their floors. So by having these on the legs of the C-stand is gonna prevent the wood floors from scratching. And I also mentioned that putting these on the back of your grip arm or a boom pole will also save someone if they're like not paying attention and they turn around they're gonna hit this instead of poking out their eye. Um, I don't like the fluorescent green color, so when I saw these on Amazon, I thought, hey, they're gray, they're pre-cut. I think they're like $10 for a four pack, so I'll list these in the description below. 
Now I know I mentioned this before, but gaff tape is a must on set, specifically colored gaff tape. The nice thing about colored gaff tape is when you have your talent landing on certain markers, which you would put on the floor, you can colorize them so that they know which marker they're going to hit. Another reason why I love colored gaff tape is because I like to label all of my gear on set. I just put a ring of a specific color on all of my gear so that I know when I'm breaking down on a shoot, what's mine and what's some of my business partners. On their gear, they have different colors than mine and it just makes teardown easy being that we have a lot of the same equipment on set. We know what's ours and we don't lose it. This is just a piece of rope with a carabiner. You could buy these or make them, but it's all, it's super handy. And you could even rock this around your waist. It gets too heavy for me, but yeah, now you guys know. And our last set of items for today's video is going to be a headlamp, which comes in clutch. There's so many times where we're working on a dark set or even a nighttime scene where having the extra light when you need to go through your gear bag comes in completely clutch. And one of these guys, it's a RGB tube light. It's 10 inches long, very, very affordable, and it has built in magnets on the back. As you just saw, I'm using this for a practical in my scene, which is one of many uses. There's quarter 20 threads on each side of this tube light, and the guys over at Nanlite absolutely killed this. It comes with me on every shoot. You could power it up through USB type C. It has a bunch of different effects on it and you could get very creative with this. I have even used this on set as a top down light for a quick scene where we were able to just stick it up on something, light our talent and get our next shot. So having some sort of set of whether it's a cube light or one of these guys and a headlamp also comes in clutch. All right, filmmakers, that wraps up today's video on essential items I bring with me on all of my sets. If you yourself watching this have your own gear bag or items that I didn't address, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what it is that you guys are relying on for all of your shoots. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps out this channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications on. And until next time, guys, I'm Jason Anthony. Peace out.